Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 4 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry. In my previous videos, I have completed examples 1 to 15, exercises 11.1 to 11.3 and questions 1 to 3 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 4 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry says, choose the correct option, justify your answer. So they have given us 4 parts of the question and for each part, they have given us 4 options. So we have to pick the correct answer from the given option by solving the given equations. So let us solve the first part of the question first. So our first part of the question is given as 9 secant square a minus 9 tan square a. Here we can observe that 9 is common so we can take out 9 outside and then we will be left with secant square a minus tan square a. So here you can observe that using our trigonometric identity we have 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta or if we send this tan square theta to right hand side we will get secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 right so we will apply this identity here so again here also we have secant square a minus tan square a so that will be equal to 1 so we can write 9 into secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 so therefore we have the result is 9. So here our correct option is option B. Now similarly let us solve the second part of the question which is given as 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. Right, to solve this problem, let us express all this given trigonometric ratios in the form of sine and cos so that it will be easier for us to simplify. So here tan theta we know tan theta can be written as equal to sine by cos. Similarly secant theta is what? Secant theta is 1 by cos theta and then cot theta is reciprocal of tan which is cos theta divided by sine theta and cosecant theta is how much cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta in this way we will express all the given trigonometric ratios in this question in the form of sine by cos so here we can write 1 plus tan theta as sine theta divided by cos theta plus secant as 1 by cos theta into again 1 plus cot is cos theta divided by sin theta minus cosecant will be 1 by sin theta. So here let us take the LCM. So when we take our LCM, our LCM will be how much? Cos theta. So cos theta into 1 will be cos theta plus here sin, by, sin theta by cos theta when you take LCM you get sin theta plus 1. Similarly, here our LCM will be sin theta. Okay, so sin theta into 1 will be sin theta plus cos theta minus 1. Okay, so now let us multiply these two brackets. So here we can rewrite the brackets as cos theta plus sin theta plus 1 into cos theta plus sin theta minus 1 okay i'm just rewriting the terms here in the numerator and in the denominator we will have cos theta into sin t cos theta into sin theta now here in the numerator if you observe so this is of the form a plus b into a minus b our a value will be cos theta plus sin theta and a b value will be 1 according to this identity what is a plus b into a minus b it is equal to a square minus b square. So we will apply this identity here. So our a value is cos theta plus sin theta. Therefore it will become a square is cos theta plus sin theta the whole square minus 
b square here b value is 1 so it is 1 square divided by again cos theta into sin theta here we have a plus b the whole square form so again we will use the formula for a plus b the whole square where a plus b the whole square can be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square so this is the formula for a plus b the whole square where a value is cos theta and b value is sin theta so a square is what cos square theta plus 2 into ab that is cos theta into sin theta plus b square will be sin square theta minus 1 square is 1 the whole divided by cos theta into sin theta so here if you observe we can apply the trigonometric identity that is cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so here we have cos square theta plus sin square theta so which will be equal to plus 1 and then we will be left with plus 2 cos theta into sin theta minus 1 divided by cos theta into sin theta right so here in the numerator this plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled so you will be just left with 2 cos theta sin theta divided by cos theta sin theta so here cos theta cos theta will get cancelled sin theta and sin theta will get cancelled in both numerator and denominator and you will be just left with number 2 so here our correct option is option c that is 2 so again our third part of the question is given as secant a plus tan a into 1 minus sin a okay so again let us convert <coughs> the given trigonometric ratios here in the form of sin by cos secant a can be written as 1 by cos a and tan a can be written as sin a by cos a so this will be the easiest method to solve this problem so secant a can be written as 1 by cos a plus tan a can be written as sin a by cos a into we have 1 minus sin a so here if you observe our denominators are same so we can add the numerators so it will be 1 plus sin a divided by cos a into 1 minus sin a so here we can observe that we can apply the identity a plus b into a minus b again which is equal to a square minus b square here our a value is 1 and b is sin a so applying the identity a square will be 1 square minus b square will be sin square a divided by what is left here it is cos a so what is 1 square 1 square is 1 1 minus sin square a divided by cos a okay so from our trigonometric identities we have cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 or so by using this identity so we can apply this identity here so when we send the sin square theta to right hand side we will get cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta right so 1 minus sin square a will be equal to cos square a so let us apply that here so cos square a divided by cos a so here cos square a is nothing but cos a into cos a so we can cancel one cos a with the denominator and that result will be what it is cos a so our correct answer in the third part is cos a that is option d now let us solve the fourth part of the question which is given as 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus cot square a so here we have in the numerator 1 plus tan square a and denominator we have 1 plus cot square a so let us convert this cot to tan cot a is nothing but equal to 1 by tan a right it is the reciprocal of tan so therefore when we write here 1 plus tan square a divided by instead of cot we will write again 1 plus 1 by tan square a so now let us convert this division here into multiplication so our numerator will be as it is that is 1 plus 1 plus tan square a divided by let us take the lcm in the denominator so our lcm will be tan square a tan square a into 1 will be tan square a 
plus 1. Now let us convert this division into multiplication. So when we do that, the denominator will reciprocal, right? So we can write 1 plus tan square a into reciprocating the denominator, we get tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a, right? So here at 1 plus tan square a and 1 plus tan square a from both the numerator and denominator will get cancelled and the result is just tan square a. That is option number D, right? So this is how we solve this question number 4. So if you have any further doubt, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 5 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and South Math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.